hi everyone so today we'll be solving this hard lead code problem and it is called distinct subsequences and in this problem like we have been given two strings s and t and uh, we need to return the number of distinct subsequences of s which equals t so basically a uh, subsequence is basically like uh, if there is a string and we delete some characters from it so the resultant uh, in resultant string that remains can be called a subsequence or like uh, we can take some characters out of string and uh, if their relative positions remain same as uh, in this string original string then that is called subsequence so that is a standard definition and uh, like uh, let us understand the problem from the example so like uh, we need to tell of this string as how many such subsequence are uh, like uh, possible in this string s so it is basically t uh, asking how many ways we can form rabbit in this string so like uh, one so answer is three because like we can form rabbit by first choosing the four letters and then taking i and t this i and t then uh, there is one choice that we can we will skip this b, uh, to b and take this to b and uh, yeah there is one way to skip the middle b and take the first and third b so these are the three ways we, um, using which we can form rabbit this string in this string so that's why the output is three so you can take a look to the example two so in this like we need to tell uh, how many ways uh, we can form this bag in this string so like we can form a bag by first taking b then this a this a and this g and we can also form a bag by taking a b a and then this g and we can also form a bag by first taking b this b and then a and then g so these like there are in total five ways to form this bag and uh, yeah so like uh, in this problem that it, it has been mentioned that the answer fits on a 32 bit signed integer so we can return the answer in integer format so we can take a look to the constraints now so it has been mentioned that uh, the length of the string and length of the string t so the length of the string s and length, length of the string t both of these strings have uh, at most 1000 uh, characters so uh, order and squared solution will be able to pass the test cases if both of them have pot length n and uh, yeah so we can take try to understand how to solve this problem so for solving this problem like uh, i'll be using a term so consider that uh, dp i comma j so this term dp i comma j stands for the num number of subsequence formed of this like this i comma j stands that suppose j characters of the string t are taken so just in case this j is 3 so this r a b will be taken so it stands that uh, how many r a b can be formed if the first i characters of the string s are taken so just in case the i would have been 5 then we are like telling how much r a b can be formed in this r a b b b so that is the meaning of the d p i comma j and uh, for utilizing the dynamic programming in this problem like we need to consider the state transition so how can we relate this dpi comma j state in terms of this smaller sub problem so similar sub problems so yeah so they like uh, we can understand that uh, if we are checking for how many subsequences are possible in the first i characters of the s then like uh, this number will also include the number of subsequences that are possible in first i minus one characters of the string s so this is first of all like equal to dp i minus one comma j and yeah there is one more thing that uh, what if we are utilizing this ith character of the string s so we can only utilize that if the last character of the string uh, 
t that the portion of the string t that we are considering is equal to the portion of a string s so in that case we can take b uh, of these two strings and we need to find the number of subsequences possible of this smaller part in the i my first i minus one characters so just in case the last character of these two parts of a string are same then we can also add the p i minus one j minus one so we will only add this thing if uh, like this condition will be true so this is the this is the main idea of solving this problem so we can try to implement this problem so first of all we will be storing the size of the string as and a string p so i will i will call them n and m respectively now what i need to do we will be returning the answer so i'll be using a function recursive function dp and this dp stands for how many like if we are taking the first j characters of string t so how many ways we can get that small portion of string t among the first i characters of string s so first of first parameter will be i another parameter will be j third parameter will be n and then we will have m and we will also need string s and string t so this is the signature of this function and uh, we will also need to store all store all the pre computed sub problems so that we are not computing it again so i will be using an unordered map for that and i will be hashing int to it so the reason so the so how can we hash so basically first of all we will be forming a key from this i and j and uh, that that is what this int will be like like we will be using an integer key made of i comma j and uh, that will be win to ensure that we are making a key that will be unique for all this i and k i and j for all the different i uh, pair of i and j so since uh, the limit on i and j is uh, 1000 we can multiply i into 2000 and then add j to generate a unique key so i'll be hashing the well like results using this key so first of all we can handle the corner cases so if uh, j is i is 0 right no no first we need to check whether is a is 0 so just in case we are checking the number of ways of formation of an empty string then that is one like that is obviously not choosing any string and then comes the case when this j is not empty so if uh, i will be less than j so the another case is that when this i is less than j so like uh, obviously it is a uh, trivial thing that uh, if the number of characters in a string as is is less than the number of characters present in the string t then we cannot form any sub subsequence uh, like we cannot find a any subsequence of this string as which will be equal to string t so in that case we can return zero so we can then form the uh, like key yeah and uh, we need to also like complete this thing so we'll be starting from so the answer will be n comma m because we need to like find the number of way, ways this string t can be found in the first n characters of the string s and then we can pass the n and m and s and t so this will be the answer
and if the problem is not pre-computed so how we'll be checking that we can do something like that lookup dot find end key so if that problem is not pre-computed then it will be equal to lookup dot end so we'll be computing the answer of the sub problem and then we'll be storing it into lookup of key and in the end we can return lookup of key so first of all we will include the case first of all we will add all the subsec or the number of ways of finding the part of string t in first i minus 1 characters of uh, string s so that will be i minus 1 j and m s and t and just in case the last characters of both these part of the strings are same so we will need to check that so this will be we can also add the number of ways to for the j minus 1 like first j minus 1 part of string t in the first j i minus 1 characters of string s so yeah and this is the this is the number of ways for this part particular sub problem so we need to store that and this should solve the problem so we can do the complexity analysis so like uh, there are n way possibilities for i and n possibilities for j so there are total order total n squared ways and for computing each sub problem we are only doing order one work so the time complexity is order n squared similarly space complexity is also n squared for like storing the like for storing this sub problems so we need to like make n squared unique keys for storing the solutions so we can try to run it on the sample test cases to check for the compilation error and uh, yeah it is working so we can submit it yeah so it got submitted so thank you guys see you again uh, like uh, in us another liquid hard problem